We're back with Richard Southern to chat about some of the day's top business stories. And we begin with a retail store that used to be in virtually every shopping mall, Richard. Yes, indeed, Erica, and now uh, announcing plans it is to close a lot of stores. We're talking about Foot Locker, the U.S.-based shoe retailer. Foot Locker today says it's going to close 400 of its stores over the next three years in what is, of course, another major blow to malls. I mean, how many big stores are exiting malls now? Nordstrom, uh, here is Foot Locker. Uh, the company says included in this closure will be 125 Champs Sports stores, which will close this year. Foot Locker calling it a reset. It comes amid softer earnings from the company. Uh, Foot Locker says to get back on its feet, no pun intended, it uh, plans to revitalize its relationship with Nike. At one point, Nike accounted for about 70% of Foot Locker's revenue, but Nike started more of a direct-to-consumer strategy. Foot Locker also says it'll roll out some new concept stores focused, uh, Erica, on uh, sneaker heads, those uh, very obsessed with shoes, of which there are many now. So we'll see if this reset works, but... Boy, as we say, another tough blow, isn't it, for yeah. malls to see more stores closing? Certainly a lot of empty space now in malls. It's kind of concerning. Okay, Canada's inflation rate is falling even quicker than some analysts expected. Here's some good news for us. We got the look at a February inflation in today. And how about that? The biggest drop, Erica, since April of 2020. Consumer prices in February up 5.2% compared to a year ago. Still a little bit hot, but much better than what analysts were expecting. Better than the 5.9% jump we saw in January and well off the peak of 8.1% last June. However, despite the overall headline number, grocery prices still remain elevated. Uh, food prices in February up 10.6% year on year. So big debate on what this is going to mean for the Bank of Canada's next interest rate decision. Erica, whether or not they'll be on hold for another meeting still remains to be seen. All right, and finally, inflation may be falling, but it might be happening too late for many Canadians who have had, who've had to rely heavily on their credit cards. Yeah, many have no choice, right? When wages, of course, are not keeping up with the cost of living, what are you forced to do sometimes? You're forced to break out the credit card to pay for everyday expenses. That's likely why we're learning that the average or that the collective credit card debt in Canada has topped $93 billion, up almost 14% year on year. Experts say putting everyday necessities on credit cards is kind of a vicious cycle when it comes to uh, indebted individuals who can't afford it. But of course, what? else uh, do, can you do? Many left with no other option. Uh, Eric, it's another sign that some of the underlying fundamentals of the, of the economy in Canada are far from strong.